Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, Romans chapter 8, verse 3, and Hebrews chapter 7, verse 9. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for your holiness, your goodness outside of us. We say thank you. We love you. We praise you. We are grateful for your dependability. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not grow weary in doing good. For in due season we will reap if we do not give up. All right. And so this is just speaking to us today about the fact that we just need to press on, continue on. But the the second verse actually leads us um, in helping us to find understanding about why we want to give up. Um, we know that our, our spirit is willing, but our flesh can be weak sometimes. So we want to do the right thing, but sometimes it's, it's really hard. So um, let's read the second verse. Romans chapter eight, verse three, for God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin he condemns sin in the flesh we as believers have tried to do things on our own but when when it comes to our flesh when the law meets our flesh it's weakened right it is it, the flesh is unable to produce righteousness so we can't make ourselves right enough right no matter how hard we try we can't make ourselves right enough that's why christ came it says for god has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do so when the law met up with us the only thing that it did was cause us to see what the sin was right and 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 end up messing up even further it says by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin he condemned sin in the flesh so in other words as as christ lived and he died um because he was in a, a body just like ours, um, he, he was able to condemn sin in the flesh because he did not sin, right? And so he did what man could not do. So the hardest part of the work is done, right? Is is the the part of, of salvation and and um, of Christ transferring his innocence to us in the presence of God um, and him taking on our sin and dying for us. Those things have already been done. And it says, and let us not grow weary in doing good. So our, our job, the doing good part, the, the presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice part, the, the part of of reaching out to God and continuing to do his will, those things are are still for us to keep going and doing, right? It says, for in due season, we will reap if we do not give up. The fact that Christ died, he, he gave us this ability to reap, right? He gave us this ability to, to not give up if if we put our trust in him so put your trust in christ jesus no one else can can provide for you the strength to not grow weary he is the one who's going to lift you up and keep you moving forward um, and and we're going to be able to reap because christ has done all the heavy lifting for us See God's face for strength. See God's face for help. He is going to provide it for you. All right. And so when Christ came, remember, he defeated sin. He condemned sin in the flesh in his ability to, by his ability to, um, walk through this life in a sinless state. 
right? And so God wants us to to reap the benefits of that, right? And and we're going to reap a harvest if we faint not. All right, so stick with God. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 9. One might even say that Levi himself, who receives tithes, pay ties through Abraham. So this is just letting us know that you have to see this through the lens of faith, right? There's this Abraham concept of Levi being inside of Abraham and Abraham being submitted to Melchizedek. These are things that we cannot understand necessarily um, with our own mindset, but we need to see it through the lens of faith. Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him as righteousness. If we believe God, God is going to provide for all of our needs, right? He is going to keep us from um, going down paths that we should not go down. He is going to provide us strength to endure until the end of the race. And he is going to give us what we could not have done for ourselves at the end of that race, which is true salvation and not condemnation, right? So let's just le- read Romans 8, 3 one more time. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemns sin in the flesh, So God condemned sin in the flesh and he did it through his son, Christ Jesus. So if Christ can be perfect and walk perfectly, he can instill in you a perfection to walk perfectly, right? He can help you to continue on in this, in this fighting the good fight of faith, right? Let's just read that first verse one more time. Galatians chapter six, verse nine, and let us not grow weary in doing good for in due season, we will reap if we do not give up. God has special blessings ahead and in store for you. Don't give up. God is with you. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you that the application of this word is much harder than the concept, Lord God. But we know that you are able. We believe you and we know that you are able to give us the strength. We're going to walk it out. We know as we walk, you're going to be pouring into us the strength that we need, Father God. You are more than able. We love you, Lord Jesus. Forgive us for all of our sins. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If you have... um. If you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If there's anybody out there who would like to rededicate your heart to the Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sin. Help me to get back on right track with you, Lord. Help me to walk uprightly in your ways, Jesus. Lord Jesus, show me how to hear your voice again and help me to follow it in the mighty name of Jesus I pray amen all right you guys if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption and no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church the Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth And he's going to do just that. Amen. Um, One of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. Also, don't forget to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. 
All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.